everyone welcome back so today I'm going to show you how I got this beautiful look right here it's perfect for the summertime like literally you got some bronzes going on you got some gold and of course this pop of teal right here underneath my waterline that is absolutely beautiful and it matches my background so if you'd like to see how I got this look then please keep watching okay so I've already started by doing my brows now I'm just going to take this Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Tan and I'm putting it on my eyelid using it as my eyeshadow primer. Okay, so now I'm just taking this light shadow and I'm dusting it all over to set that concealer that I just put. Okay, so now I'm taking this liquid eyeshadow from e.l.f. It's such a beautiful color. Oh my gosh. And I'm just using that to pretty much carve out where I want to like have a lid. You know, a nice shiny bronzy lid. It's so beautiful. It's so inexpensive. I'm just going to link everything down below so that you can get your hands on it. Because this thing is like only 3 to $6, you guys. And it's so pretty. Okay you guys, so sticking with the same brand, I'm going in this e.l.f. Matte for Matte eyeshadow palette and I'm taking this lightish, it's like a brown, kind of like orangey brown color and I'm putting that in the corner of my eye, really focusing it into the crease and creating like a triangular shape and I'm just gonna keep on blending that out. Okay, so heading back into that palette, now I'm taking this super dark color and I'm just adding it into the corner right over where I put the other shadow just to smoke everything out. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking this e.l.f. Illuminating Primer and I'm priming all areas of my face. Next, I'm taking this Pure Cosmetics Bronze Your Selfie Liquid Bronzer and I'm using that as a base to mix in with this Tarte foundation. I love this foundation so much. It stays matte, but it doesn't dry out your skin. I just love it. It'll be linked for you guys. So now I'm just spraying my Tarte Beauty Blender sponge thingy with some Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray and I'm just blending everything together. Okay, so now I'm taking this NARS Matte Concealer and I'm using that to cover my dark spots. For my under eye concealer, I will be using the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Tan again and I'm just going to highlight all the parts of my face that I want to stand out the most. Of course, I'm just going to blend that in with my Beauty Blender and make sure everything is even and snatched. To set that, I will be using the infamous Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I'm just going to place that in all the areas where I place that concealer. For my contour, I will be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Dark Cocoa and I'm placing that underneath my cheekbone area, around my forehead and on my jawline and that's just going to help to slim out all of those areas. To blend that out, I will be using one of my favorite brushes, which is this Tarte Dual Ended Contour Brush. It's so perfect. I always talk about it. I never link it. I never even check to see if it's still available, but I'll try to check it out for you guys and link it below. I'm going to use that same color and I'm just going to contour my nose now. To set that, I'm going to be using my favorite bronzer by Estee Lauder and I'm placing that on all the areas that I place the concealer. For my blush, I'm using my favorite Sephora brand blush in the shade Tangerine Tees and I'm taking that and dragging it up my cheekbone. Now to just set my whole face, I'm taking this Essence Matte Powder and just brushing it all over. 
Now I wanted to intensify that gold that I put on earlier so I'm just adding another layer of that liquid eyeshadow. As you can see it made it totally turn up and now it's booming. So I'm just going to take this really thin brush and I'm bringing it down underneath my eye to smoke out the bottom so that I can match the top. For my eyeliner, I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Eyeliner in Teal. For my mascara primer, I'm taking my favorite one, which is the L'Oreal one, and I'm just coating my lashes with them. For my mascara, I'm taking the Sephora brand Voluptuous one. I think it's so beautiful and it matches my bottom lashes perfectly with my falsies. Lastly for mascara, I'm taking the Maybelline Lash Boss Mascara. This one's great for separating and making them look more long and full. For my highlight, I will be using the Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter so pretty obviously everyone already knows that for my second highlight i will be taking the makeup revolution highlighter in the shade golden lights it's so inexpensive but it's so pretty you guys look at it yeah. to get started with my lips i will be using my favorite lip liner this is the nyx suede lip liner in the shade downtown beauty the name of this beautiful lipstick by Tarte is Beach Babe. I love it. It's so pretty. And lastly, to top my lips, I will be using this NYX Cosmic Lip Topper in the shade Celestial. To set my face with the Urban Decay D-Slick and fanning it right away. And you guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I really enjoyed doing this look. I think it's so good for summertime and I feel like the blue just makes everything pop. And the highlight is just, uh, it's blinding me right now. It's distracting me, you guys, but I'm gonna get on. And um, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know with the like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one, bye.